What's up, y'all? I got a film of the feast, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into uh, So Real Tea, Crystal and Polo G, something. I don't know. Let's get it. What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Polo G's sister, Leilani, and their mom, Stasia, were arguing yesterday after video footage of Stasia pulling a gun out on Leilani and firing shots at her and screaming, I will kill you. For those of you that don't know, a couple months ago, Leilani had came to the internet and stated that her mom had pulled a gun out on her and they fought, which resulted into Leilani going to the hospital for her help. Leilani stated that she was not the one that leaked the video of her mother's ring camera because she does not have access to it. She also stated that this- Which makes sense, she don't have the access. These things that her and her brother- I mean, if she did, that would be crazy but i'm sure he has the access have been going through their whole life she stated that her her mom is very immature and nine times out of ten they're the ones that are raising her but even with all of that they never came out publicly and embarrassed her or or told the world what was going on behind the scene leilani wrote everything down in bullet points to try to get everyone to understand she stated you guys saw only the climax of what happened on Easter. I was attacked verbally, emotionally, physically, consistently provoked, shot at, had my luggage stolen, which in turn triggered a manic episode. I was antagonized both publicly and privately. For you to attempt to murder your child and send the video to multiple family and friends shows how comfortable you are with- Oh, she sent it to the family members and somebody and exposed that makes sense. With your grotesque actions, only for them to turn around and sell it to the blogs and expose your true character, shaking my head. I am not the only child she has done this to and gloated and bragged Y'all know times are hard, girl. Somebody was going to sell that. Somebody was going to. She probably wanted them to sell that. Leilani stated, I am not crazy. I still did not seek legal actions nor counsel, although she attempted to use her money and resources to have me arrested, my accounts removed, etc. I'm in extensive therapy and I hope she can do the same. It's so crazy that all of this was going on. Yesterday was also Stasia's birthday, but she came to Instagram and she cleared some things up. And this is what she had to say. Stasia is basically trying to blame Leilani for leaking the video. She stated, the greatest form of misery is to attempt to steal someone's joy. I'm not bothered, nor am I bothering nobody. The battle that you're raging isn't with me, it's with yourself, Leilani. Mental health issues are real and so are boundaries. I can't still be the villain in your story. I've removed myself from your life and feeding your stories. Your feeding health issues are real. I'm not bothered nor am I bothering nobody. The battle that you're raging to say. Stasia is basically trying to blame Leilani for leaking the video. She stated, The greatest form of misery is to attempt to steal someone's joy. I'm not bothered, nor am I bothering nobody. The battle that you're raging isn't with me, it's with yourself, Leilani. Mental health issues are real, and so are boundaries. I can't still be the villain in your story. I've removed myself from your life and feeding your stories. You're feeding stories to the blogs again when I haven't spoken to you in months. The problem is you. It's my birthday. This further proves your jealousy and malicious intent. To sum it up, Stasia is basically blaming Leilani's mental for everything that is going on right now. She stated that for two years, Leilani has been affected and it's also been affecting the family and everything. She says that she tries to help Leilani and Leilani is just very disrespectful. She stated that there's plenty of times Leilani is trying to ruin her career and she's just upset that it doesn't work. She stated that Leilani is a damsel in distress who is just mad because they haven't spoken in months and she's not paying her any mind. I will leave all of the tweets and the posts in here for you guys to read. You guys comment down below and let us know what you think about all of this. Nigga, the gun jammed and that's why you ended up in jail because after the gun jammed with your scary ass. Wait, nigga, the gun jammed and that's how you end up in jail? 
Huh? Where's my chain? Where is this? Where is that? Your weak ass was scared because your mama was going to fucking kill you. So uh, You would be scared, too, if your daughter had a gun up, up on you? Hell wrong with her. Let's talk about it. You know the motherfucking... And why is everybody in the chat just letting her, you know what I'm saying, almost unalive her child? Gun jammed, and you know you was going to be over with. But guess what? Today, tomorrow, the next day, the only bitch gonna bury you is me. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. But you need child, that girl come up missing or uh unalive. Y'all know we know who did it. Her mama did it. <laughs> you were talking about a bury and all need to do on my baby, on my kids, is you need to get an attorney. Cause you was, oh my God, why am I in jail? Mommy, brother, could you please give me an attorney? I'm stealing all these people Kool-Aid and I'm so upset. I'm rich, I shouldn't be here. Yeah, bitch. Mom, could you ask the people if they can come here today and give me some pizza? I shouldn't be here, they didn't feed me today. Yeah, how quick we forget. Yeah, remember it. He's talking about a motherfucking bitch that you then fucked on. That's an adult. And you're saying Leilani did state that she's doing a lot better. At that point, I'm I'm just lost with it, y'all. And she's just been focusing on her mental health. Comment down below and let us know what you think. While all of this is going on, Polo G baby mother is also going at it with her ex Boo C on Twitter. The other day I reported that Crystal C and Zavo has been going off on each other on Twitter. Well guys, that has continued on. If you guys remember, I stated that C had dropped Crystal's number to her address and that had pissed Crystal off. So when she woke up the next day, she was still pissed. Oh, she dropped the number to the address, not the full address. Off about that address. Crystal took to Twitter and stated, all fun and games till you be sitting right next to your mama. See, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That's a different type of like. Oh my god, the beef is just never that deep. Y'all just doing a lot. He didn't seem to like that much because after that, she was going off on Twitter. So C took to Twitter and stated, "Somebody's mad. All this over a phone? That's crazy." Crystal responded, "All this over y'all still trying to make tweets about me? B, you leaked my address. I'm on your ass until I feel like getting off." C responded, "I ain't leak shit, but I will though. Stop playing with me for real, for real. You doing all this Twitter like we can't simply see each other outside, just like you called TT phone." C continued on and stated, "Girl, ain't nobody hurt you dating a gay boy that can't dress." <laughs> A gay boy that can't dress is hilarious. Leave me alone. I've been stopped thinking about you. You the one that keeps speaking on me. All fun and games till MFers be at your door. Don't ever speak on my mom knowing she passed away. You broke, dirty ass B. I can't wait to see you outside in the clubs in Houston. Like B, stop speaking on me. I don't speak on you, so stop speaking on me. It's that simple. Nobody was worried about this big ass hoe. I got on Twitter to address the tweets made about me say what you want but broke b laugh of the day crystal stated broke i cut you off i could have really been still getting bread out of you since i'm so broke b i got paid 2k to post a picture you beg for plays we're not the same c stated that crystal was lying she been stopped giving her money and zabo can vouch for that she stated that she don't beg they just come in her dms even her friends then she told crystal to show her bank account c also stated crystal clearly wants the twitter clout and i'ma let her have it i can never be pressed i change your life quickly let's not forget you had no car when you met me crystal commented back and stated no car pocket full of money you gave me two bands bro two bands not even two promo posts for me that's one B, you can't boss nothing up about me. The most you did was buy gifts. B, I had my own everything before I met your clown fanned out ass. C responded, Chris Clown fanned out dyke. Clown fanned out fat dyke ass. So I'm going back and <laughs> forth with you. I know what I did for you. Every time somebody get mad at a gay person, they start throwing gay slurs. But you was 
uh, messing with that gay person. It's crazy. And even all your friends know. Stop the cap. I don't care no more. You doing you and I'm doing me. I turned the phone off because I don't want nobody to have nothing in my name. It's not that deep. Get over it. Crystal then responded and said that she been over it and been over C. C just finds any reason to discuss her. C responded, I never discuss you. Are you cool? I've been on trips, on vacations, worried about self. Haven't spoke on you at all, which is crazy. You all always start the shit first. Crystal tweeted, what clout would I be getting from arguing with a fat meatball? How does that benefit me? Ain't no clout, B. You leaked my I'm sorry, the meatball was fine. address and you keep making tweets about me. You're obsessed. At this point, people are on Twitter telling Crystal that she needs to file harassment and just press charges because of the simple fact that C keeps bothering her and threatening to leak her address. She also threatened to send people over there to handle Crystal. Crystal stated that she will be moving anyways, so that's good. As long as she won't be there anymore, because it's too many people that she done fell out with that knows her address. And let me just say this here. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is why I don't give out my address. I'm sorry. I don't care if we're friends. We can meet somewhere or I'm going to give my address down the street and, you know, I'll meet you and we just come over here. But I don't never give out my address. I'm very skeptical on bringing people to my house. That's just like my safe space. So just the fact that things like this happen with people that you say you're friends with and then the first thing they do is threaten to send people to your house and leak your address that's the type of shit i just be trying to avoid but y'all go ahead and comment down below and let us know have you ever got your address leaked and if so how did you handle it c responded to crystal and stated shut the f up just like you posted my charges with my personal name and address weeks ago b you not innocent crystal responded let everyone know you are a stalker you want to post everything else you literally listed as a stalker c responded lol being listed as a stalker is crazy. well them charges are pending innocent until proven guilty if you go look at the charges case got dismissed so what's next c also stated so why are you posting my personal information if you don't want me posting yours it's not that hard to leave me alone literally you came tweeting me yesterday because i turned off that phone that's in my name shit sick then they started going back and forth i will agree on that like just go get you another phone God. about who mentioned who first but if she paid the phone off just cut the line off and let her have her phone and C posted the tweet of where crystal mentioned her crystal responded and stated the only reason that she was mentioned was because her friend came to twitter first and how did anything even end up on twitter and she called tt's phone C stated crystal didn't have all this energy when we used to have beef back in the day we used to text or call each other I can't believe they just doing that all on Twitter and wonder why we be here reacting to it. What you want me to do? I, I need something to talk about. <laughs> when Karina leaked her address and her phone number, Crystal responded, you always mentioning somebody I got beef with. When them MFers who kidnapped you and took you down did what they did, what the F did you do other than cry? When them MFers busted you up the head, what did you do other than leave? B, you can't pull my whole card. I stand 10. You a goofy, leave me alone. C response was, nobody kidnapped me or bust my head open and still to this day nobody ever took shit from me or off me she said what happened to when Kali beat you up outside the penthouse ripped your edges out and you lost your Rolex Crystal responded mm, I told her to come outside to fight we fought she ripped my wig off that was sewn to my braids I spit she spit we ended the fight moved on nobody ever beat me up I lost my watch because I was high on shrooms and forgot about it anything else you lie so damn much, it's crazy, but I'm going to let you live your lie. Crystal has stated that Zavo was a lap dog. Zavo responded and said, worrying about me being a lap dog, but you got an actual dog dying by the day is crazy. C responded and said, someone... You know, that's not the first time we heard that. And I'm just going to say, if if she got a dog and she ain't taking care of a girl, get that dog away. Call Katie Animal Control. Crystal literally leave the dog in the garage with no food or water for weeks. And then y'all know C. Petty, guys. She even tagged the animal shelter in Katie. Now, guys, leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Crystal I ain't going to lie, that's snitching. Because if Crystal get the snitching, 
That's C ass. Stated that she was getting back to regular programming. And what videos did you guys want from her since she's broke? Hope Azeva was even being messy on Instagram. And he shared a picture of one of those young girls that Jazz used to spoke to after her and Crystal broke up. He shared her picture and stated trendsetter because she had on the same outfit that Crystal recently had on when she posted a picture of her and Ed. Zavo's basically trying to hint that she got her idea. She's from that young lady. She had on the same exact outfit and that girl posted this in 2023. Hopefully all of these people can just find better people to hang around and just choose their friends wisely. Comment down below guys and let us know what you think. Speaking of me, I don't know if we go. I'll just over y'all ass to make a tweet. Yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um I just I just think it's it's petty, but it's gonna get dangerous in a minute because I mean I, they bought that life cool. It just it don't be worth it. It don't be worth it, y'all. But if it's worth it to them. Y'all handle y'all be out. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.